Hello guys, how's it going? Alex the Grand here. I hope you're having a good day. Today I've got a video for you on the side mirror indicator units upgrade. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade them to DRL units that I'm going to put in the description below guys if that's something that you fancy. Uh, so I got the new one fitted already on here and I got the old one on the other side. So I'm just going to give you a quick video to show you obviously what the old one is like and what the new one is like just to show you the difference. And if that is something that you're interested in, don't forget to give a subscribe guys and like and also in the description below, I'm going to put the link for this unit. Right guys, so here we got obviously the original unit, just wanted to show you quickly. I'm pretty sure that's what you got at the moment as well. And here we got the new unit guys, they already fit on the driver's side. It does fit very well, it looks very good guys. There's no difference in the color of plastic as well, so it matches it properly. Perfect fitting. And you also got a little glass there for the newer models that got a little light there as well, the 501. So you got the fitting at the bottom for that as well. Right guys, so now I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to obviously replace the unit. You will have to take the cover off and the glass as well to get to a couple of screws that you got there in order to remove the bottom section, which is the whole obviously unit that you're going to be replacing. Right guys, so this part of the video might be helpful for you even if you're not replacing the indicator unit and just looking to get your cover off for any reason obviously. I have seen a lot of people asking about this, so I'm gonna show you how to do it properly because some people say on the internet that you just have to pry it off uh, with your fingers and it'll come off. But I will be honest, it will be tight on there guys and with the fingers it doesn't really come off. So what I would definitely recommend is having one of them plastic tools guys, trim tool, and start by getting it in here. You're gonna see that it is very tight guys. So you just get it just under there and you'll see It'll pop off. Like I said, it is very tight. Uh, so it starts coming off from that side. All you have to do is just get your tool in there. And there you go, that comes off. Just push it off. As you can see, they're just the plastic clips that sit in place, but they are very tough. So I would definitely recommend using the plastic tools, guys. So this is the first step. Obviously, we've got the cover off. Uh, next thing will be taking the glass unit out of there. Okay, so in this part, we're going to remove the glass out of there. So the same tool that we used to remove the cover, get it behind there. You can turn the mirror all the way out, get it behind there, just slowly and evenly pop it off. You'll see it come off of the fit things they got on there. They're just plastic bits to hold it on. And the next step uh, will be to unplug your heater element, which is just two little plugs there. There you go, so that's off now. Right, once the uh, glass unit is off guys, all you need is Torque 30 to get this little screw out of there. You just remove it quickly. And you're gonna see that the indicator unit is gonna start moving straight away. Put that somewhere safe. And now you can see they're gonna start coming off of there. Uh, the last thing you got is what I'm gonna show you now. Right guys, so for next step, all you have to do is squeeze that in. As you can see, there's two little plastics that hold it in there. So if you push that in while you're pulling the cover off, it will come off. I just wanted to show you obviously what you have to do. Don't miss the step so you don't break it. Right guys, so just before you push that in, one thing you have to do uh, is pull this cover slightly off. Uh, so if you get your plastic tool behind there, uh, you'll see why when you look at that. Uh, it just holds the cover in a little bit more. So if you get your fingers behind it, it'll come off. Just at the bottom, you don't need to actually take the screw out of it, leave it on there. You just need to pop the bottom out, and now you can push that tab in. There you go, and the whole unit will come off. There you go, so all you got left now is to unplug the little plug that you got here by squeezing that in, and that's it guys. Right, so let's just squeeze that in, and the plug will come off. There you go. That's the plug out and your unit is out as well. So this is the little plastic tab that I was talking about you, uh, to you earlier. Uh, just to show you obviously better now that it's off. That's the bit there to squeeze in. Right guys, so you get the pack of two in the box. I got, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description below where you can get them from. So here's one. Obviously the other one's already fit on the other side. And you also got a cut out there for the little unit because on the newer models you have got a little 
uh, fiber wind bulb that goes at the bottom there so you got the adapter for that as well as you can see so all you do is just fit that in there which it locates in the hole and you slide it in and it's secure and obviously if you got the fiber one that goes in there you just push it in there it locks in and obviously make sure that it's working before you fit everything but yeah that's in my case i got a slightly older version and i haven't got the fiber one all i got is the indicator bit of it so that's what i'm gonna do just plug it in as you can see there's the connector so we're gonna plug that in now and obviously fit everything back on Right guys, so to fit it back on, nice and easy, obviously the same as what you done earlier, pull this cover slightly off to locate that in there, push it in, make sure our clip is in, and then just locate it behind this cover and push this cover back. Obviously at this stage I would recommend checking the unit if it's working before you put everything else back on. So just make sure it aligns with everything, clip it in, and don't forget you got that screw to bolt it on now. So like I said, at this stage, don't forget to use it and make sure it's working. So let me just turn my hazards on. There you go, spot on. That's all working properly. All right, just get the screw back in there. So tie it up a little bit more so it sits on properly. Just double check out obviously everything. That looks all good. And now we are ready to fit our mirror back on. Don't forget to obviously plug it in. Oh, that's all good. So fit that on there. Uh, when you fit it on guys, avoid cracking it. So apply even pressure around the whole unit. You'll feel it locating, it'll clip in like it's just done. And that's it, just make sure it's not coming off anywhere. Yeah, that's spot on and that is on there. Now all we've got left is our blue cover. All right guys, to fit the cover back on, nice and easy, obviously. Locate it properly. Make sure it's in line with everything and you'll feel it clipping back on. Like I say, it will be tight, but it will clip in. There you go, it's clipped on now. And everything's aligned, guys. Let me just double check that everything's working. Right guys, so here we are. Nice cool indicators for your side mirrors. I think they're pretty decent. So next step, I think I'll be doing the front ones as well. Got the matching ones. Uh, so for the front indicator and also the side light bulb they got in there, they're gonna look sick as well. So if that is something you're interested in as well, don't forget to give a subscribe and a like guys and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing that video next week as well. So yeah, as you can see guys, it's nice and easy. I think the hardest bit is obviously getting this cover off because it is quite tight on there. But once that is off, everything else is quite simple. And like I said, once you fit it, don't forget to double check that everything is working before you put everything back on. Right guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye.